An East Bay High School football star who had everything to live for is now just a legacy. Terrence Kelly, a top football player at undefeated De La Salle High School. The former star of Concord's undefeated De La Salle High School football team was shot to death. Was shot in his car outside his brother's home last night. You know, the whole team lost when Terrence Kelly died. The whole community lost. <laughs> Kelly again. Terrence Kelly first and through. Touchdown, De La Salle. I don't understand, but I believe in God will show me the way. For the first month, I laid in bed, didn't get out of bed. And I just wanted to just lay there and just like my baby, my baby. He's a great person, a lot of heart. About 2,000 people filled a church in Richmond to pay their respects at Kelly's funeral. He cried when he felt he let his teammates down. And he would have done anything or played any position if he knew it would have helped his team. All this spoke volumes about Terrence's capacity for love. He cared about others. He loved people, and we loved him right back. You want people to love you like that because it says you're doing the right things. I know he made me a better person just by being around him. They say 15-year-old Darren Pratcher killed Terrence Kelly as a payback for a year-old grudge on the basketball court. It's a, just a sense, so senseless. I mean, his death, I mean, a guy that did everything right and was a true Spartan and couldn't say a bad thing about anyone. but. Yeah, I mean, it shocked everyone. Well, Terrence was just a person who you couldn't hate. You couldn't, he never had anything bad to say. And, uh, I mean, he was just a great guy. Uh, if you ever needed some help, needed something to, you know, someone to talk to, you know, it'd, it'd be Terrence. He left everything on the field, everything. And he played hard from whistle to whistle. And that's what they taught him. It was like, you know, don't give up, don't give up. In memory of Terrence, the Terrence T. K. Kelly Youth Foundation has been established to provide youth in the community tools necessary to overcome adverse circumstances and give them the motivation needed to obtain success and excellence in their lives despite the odds and hardships they face. Each and every one of our youth can be everything Terrence Kelly virtuously stood for and accomplished. He played with a lot of pride and heart and everything and like, we can't let his death go in vain by forgetting anything. So by us remembering, you know, it's a way of keeping his, his memory and spirit alive here at De La Salle. The purpose of the Terrence T.K. Kelly Youth Foundation is to help heal and motivate the young voices who are in need of help throughout the city of Richmond. Through Terrence's memory, the foundation wants to show the young people in the community that they are not forgotten and they can be everything Terrence Kelly was. You know, we just had a lot of fun, and, you know, thinking about what happened to him is kind of sad and everything like that, but like I told everybody else, I was like, we got to stay strong, you know, he's going to live within us, you know, we're going to miss him, but he's going to be within us the whole time we're here, you know, we, we were all brothers, you know, and, and just, you know, you can't, I mean, it's, it's not as good to cry now, but when everything's over, said, and done with, we got to be able to just, you know, keep him in our hearts and just keep playing. The Terrence T.K. Kelly Youth Foundation is committed to helping other nonprofit organizations by helping them gain exposure in the community. Our purpose is to partner with nonprofit agencies for the good of the children and our future by raising funds and awareness through corporate, foundation, and individual support. Just bring peace to Richmond, stop the violence, you know, senseless violence, you know, drugs and, and stuff gonna be out there, but what is, you know? with no killing, and especially, you know, when I was growing up, drug was around in Richmond. It's always been in Richmond. But when I was growing up and I played football, it was a street code. It was like, oh, you doing good in school? Get out of here. You don't need to be around here. Now, they don't care who they hurt. Now, the good kids get hurt for no reason. Jealousy, animosity, it's just, just senseless. It's, it's people out there that's willing to help and show these kids in Richmond that the streets is not a life and you can make it from being poor or low income. You can still make it and become a successful citizen in the community.